yellow. Uh, I decided to do a video on this bouncing notes Max for Live device. Uh, and I'm gonna just mess around with it and do some uh, cool melody generating things. Um, and I'm actually gonna like resample the MIDI that it generates and then tweak with that and then put it back onto the bouncy notes. So we're gonna get one melody from it and then we're gonna use bouncy notes again to get um, variations on that melody. So it's kind of like a two-step two generative uh, melody process. So off the bat, bouncy notes, you press any note and it, the balls like bounce. And then you can, um, I might have to turn that down. I don't know if that's too loud, but you can uh, turn up random direction. And then you can also uh, change how long they bounce for with the light right there. All right, so then I'm gonna get scale, and we're gonna go with the uh, Iwato scale. If it'll load. And so, you know, it's okay with the synth. You could also use uh, a simpler and just load in like a melodic one shot. If I could find one, I always have trouble finding them. That one's pretty nice. Also, just to go on with the theme of uh, generative and random, I got Baby Audio's Magic Dice. Which, uh, this one will give you, every time you hit the uh, thing, it'll give you like a new combination of reverb and uh, delay. And maybe something else in there, I don't know. So yeah, you can... Just turn this down a little bit. So that sounds like pretty nice. So now what I would do, because this isn't uh, quantized, so we're going to record it. But all it recorded was just my notes that I was playing. So we actually have to set up another MIDI track um, to get input from this one. We'll just arm both of those at the same time. So I like this one at the end with a little kind of ascending pattern. Um, so now what I would do is actually turn this off, turn the scale off, um, grab this MIDI phrase and drag it back into the instrument. So now it's just going to play like it normally would without the effects. And then maybe we could get like another phrase in there too. So yeah, you don't want to worry about 
the grid too much. You just kind of want to find where it sounds good, where it would be a good loop. So yeah, I mean, that's cool. But then if you were going to make a beat um, with this, then the drums would be out of time. So we got to figure out a way to put it back onto the grid. Um, which I kind of do by like consolidating it, right? So it's just Command J. So now it's not the whole recording clip. It's just I made like a new MIDI clip, Command J. Um, and then like uh, half speed it. We're still gonna loop it. So now we're just gonna hardcore try to put this into uh, 140 BPM somehow by just dragging it around. It's probably gonna be boring to watch. Um, but I just kind of look at the timing here like, um, how long do we want it? We want it to be four bars long. So I'll just command J that and then, uh, So I could spend a bunch of time trying to get this on the grid, but uh, you know, it's a unique challenge every time. So I won't, so I'll just show you how to get like variations on this again, but have it not be like too crazy, you know? Cause when you half time it, then it gives it room to like, there's like more space for it to jam out. So now that I'm doing it again, Turn the lifetime down. Turn the random direction down a little bit. Invert one, see how it sounds. And then uh can make one like double. You know, then you can just kind of go in and add just, you know, random shit, maybe Put like a little fill. It's kind of like drums, you know, just little fills and shit. So that's generating a lot of new MIDI again. So while we're listening to it, we could actually record the MIDI one more time. And I'll add in a uh, LFO to change the sample size around.
Then you could even put, turn on a portamento. So yeah, lots of fun, you know, uh, you can pretty much come up with maybe all the parts of your song that you want like that, um, and have a lot of variation to mess around with, like you could do your chorus, A part, B part, whatever. Okay, let me turn off OBS now. Goodbye.